All right, can I get back into this? Let's see, oh, we're in a town, so I can't look at the map until I leave. Okay, I see my next thing to do already. Now I remember, I got this army out here. Gotta go take care of them. Then, let's see, I gotta deal with this at some point. But, it huh, might be good to go back and do it now. Let the vessels take care of this small stuff here. But, we're kind of getting to the point where, like, this is the end game steamroll, pretty much. Like, once, you know, I start to feel like my vassals are going to chase off any armies that make it through here. I can take care of the large size armies. I can just keep sieging pretty much whenever I want to. You know, we're just gonna have to go finish them off. Let me see, let me set my thing up here though. I always forget one thing. Let's see. Got my party. Got some wounded. I said knocked out people here. What is, what's even going on with you? Do you have a crossbow? I think I didn't properly equip him because I stuck him in a stuck him in a peep. Okay. I oh, know you've got your crossbow. You see, do you have bow skill? Can you use bows that aren't 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 junk? I guess you can. Okay, you can use this. You can use this, you're getting one of these. One of these. Get you some arrows. I'm trying to multitask, but it's not working. I keep I keep just just playing banner lord and not being my other things set up here. Okay. You get arrows. Nah, you get you get bodkin arrows. Get those and Let's see, do I want you to have that? You can have this. This is better than Executioner Axe. Let's see a horse, you've got a Kosian because you're Imperial. Okay. You might think I think I think we want something like that's better and first armor do I have a bit I put some away somewhere I can't remember where I put it though that's fine armor though got uh I think I gave him like my B list gear there but that's fine that's all but we could also have him lead a party too that yeah that's not spending that much for the little tiny improvement like that. The amount of armor won't really do much. I guess I should look at the other stuff though. That might be. I should give him the good shoulders too. We'll do that soon. We'll pick up some good. Okay, yeah, you can have better clubs. I guess his his shoulder thing is really bad. Let's see. Oh, that one's pretty good. I don't even, this must be a new one. I don't even remember that one. We'll take that one for now. It's almost as good as the, the Sarai one. And when I say good, I just mean that defense values. I don't even consider like weight and stuff. Here we go. This is, I buy, this is like the stock thing I buy just to throw on everyone. In fact, while I'm here, See, how many of these do I have? Do I have... I bought a few of them because I've got four of them. Yeah, you guys at least have a little bit of armor. I just get kind of lazy about equipping all these guys because pretty soon we're going to be unequipping them and making them into lords. But while they're here, we might as well at least give them some basic stuff. We don't have to buy them new stuff for everything, though. Here we go... Can you use it? You can use it on foot. Well, yeah, that's fine, actually. That's fine. You can just stay on foot. We have bolts. Okay, we have bolts. Give you a bunch of bolts. You're a bolt boy. Okay. Same thing here. Bolts. Bent cross. Yeah, that's fine. You can take that. Bolts. 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 It would be so nice if they just had like an equip best button. 
So I mean this. Yeah, that's that's fine for you. Just probably hopefully don't die. Axman the Smith. What are you? Are you a? Uh, you're an Imperial too, aren't you? Okay. You can after a while you can kind of tell just by what they look like that he looks more Imperial. And the other two they look Vlandian. Vlandians are kind of kind of look like they they just came out of the tavern. Let's see. Yeah, it's, you're, you're getting the short end of the stick here, but... Oh, you can't use bend crossbow. Okay, you get a good old light crossbow, though. And some light bolts. We'll buy some more light bolts. I don't need to give you budget bolts. Let's buy some more, too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Who else is here? Okay. Oh, the robber. Uh huh? I think you're Imperial, but I, I guess I don't know for sure. What do we got here? Well, crossbow and crossbow. No, you got to get a light crossbow. Where are my bolts? There they are. Bolt boy. My last one. I don't want to give away my last one. Come here. I'm going to buy you a new one. Okay. I'm messing up. Okay. You get that. I know you, you want. You won't see all that gear in the shop. And you're like, that. you don't want that. I want two more defense. And no, you can't have two more defense. It's not, it's not beneficial enough. Can have, you can have this, though. Okay. That's good for now. I'm going to leave this Sarah guy alone, because I don't know. You should look at this, though. Make sure I've got who I think. Let's see. He's Vlandian. Oh, he is he looks He looks like he would be Imperial, but he's Vlandian. Go back. Go back to my menu. Thank you. Look at you. Oh, you're Vlandian, too. Okay, are you... What about you? He is Imperial. Okay, so gotta remember that. He is Imperial. Um... Okay, let's go take care of this. Yep. Everyone's at war. She might have low tactics and charge me, though. Which is good. But maybe not. Let's see, five. Nice long line. Oh, nice long line. That's not a nice long line. There we go. Spread out. Face enemy. Okay. Three. Go back. One back. These guys are leaving alone. I'm gonna assume they're not gonna charge me, and put them both on follow me and go. Russell, let's see. Yeah, it looks like they're just moving. They're moving to a different position, but not actually. We got one horse archer coming up here. Can we get him? I can get him. Okay. I see a bunch of cavalry just waiting to get it shot up. Okay. Actually, they got archers there too. Archers repositioning even better. Right there. Two. About right there. Oh, they move, they run in. Don't run too far. Don't run too far away. Mounted bowmen, move out. Mounted archer, get moving. I'll chase you. I'll chase you into the corner if I have to. There 
got four. Go after these. Two. Get in front of them. Yeah, they're they're trying hard to like reposition away from me. Got all that. No, but come over here for. Let's get rid of this first. Get rid of these. And then we can get rid of all everything else. Yeah, they're they're like getting in and into it with the infantry over there. That's not not what I want. It's not what I want. I want to deal with this first and then shoot the infantry from distance. Infantry actually knows how to whack them in the leg, so they're actually more dangerous than the cavalry. Let's see. Don't get too close. Don't let them get too close. Okay. Four. Over there. Keep them like staggered like this. So why this group moves, this one keeps firing on them. Go over there, I guess. Some people are stuck in the middle there. I don't know why. I don't know why that happened. But I don't know why. Yeah, we lost one. I guess they're they just were fighting. That's really lame, but that that's gonna happen almost every battle. Some troop does some really dumb thing. Okay. Back on, follow me. Let's see, what's this? Slow infantry. All right, behind him. Nice, friendly trot. Yeah, we're just, we're just, we're your, we're your buddies. We're just back here. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. You have to move to your position. That's much more important. Oh no, don't turn around. Now let's see. This doesn't get kind of hard when uh, they stop moving. When they're on follow you and you want to turn around. Okay. Four, go over there. Two, go over there. We need... We want them to be in range of our archers and stuff. It just does not look like what I just ordered them to do. That looks like they're going someplace very different. Okay, four. Over there. Two, go over there. Just get out of the way. Yeah, two. Go over there. Yeah, they're getting a lot of damage, but we want to make use of our archers, which will take like a year to move across the map. So, come on. Come over here. Four, go over there. Two, go like right there. And we'll go behind them again once they're, they're in range of the crossbowmen. Everybody, everybody, make sure everyone's on face enemy. Although I think they can mess it up. Like if some of them were on face enemy and not, or the opposite on face direction, then like it or say everyone's on on face enemy, but some of them are actually on face direction. It's very, it's not a good thing to have a toggle on. Okay, one, get in your shield wall. Okay, they're they're headed for horse archers, or are they coming this way? Okay. Bumping into people. Okay. Four. Come back here. Two. Go right there. Get closer. No, don't don't ride through them though. <laughs> yeah, I kill these guys, don't okay, three, do your thing. Do your stuff. Even though we basically dunked him here, they're still going to get in a few easy kills just because they, they're allowed to just walk right up like that. Okay. Infantry, spread out and charge. I want you to go kill those archers. Oh, there's only 10 of them left. Okay, it's a little late now. I guess we can just charge everyone. I really want to mod in 
group, the targeting, and the overhead map. I think the next playthrough I do, whether it's on beta or not, I'm gonna get those mods and stuff because I just I get so burnt out on like just hoping that the troops attack what they should be attacking or what you would like them to. Just hoping that they do it and then they don't and then you see like, you know, you see your red skulls popping up for your tier six units because a recruit ran up and hit him in the knee, you know. It's a bunch of stuff. Well, we're probably just gonna have to mod out. Uh, Tail Roach does not seem interested in actually making meaningful changes to it. Like they say, oh, we're working on it, but our vision for it isn't the same as what your vision. It's like, well, my vision for it is just that it's useful that you can do useful things with your troops with all the all these like dozens and dozens of formations and commands that they're useful that they do something that we can control it can make use of it we can be rewarded for making more decisions during the battle that that's all i it's what i'm asking for so if you don't want that why did you bother doing all this just wanted to ha have like the appearance of like a you know a strategy menu but really really they're just gonna kind of kind of wobble around and kind of attack what's in front of them and that's best you can do let me see now. A bunch of castles here. I've just been kind of just ignoring the Northern Empire. They're not, though. Let's see. It's a medium-sized town. No food, so they are going to be losing that garrison while, while they're under siege like that. And these castles, yeah. Like, I'm kind of considering Northern Empire and Sturgia just as, like, a one area. And that's probably where I want to go last. I just kind of want to get bigger and bigger around the belly here. I leave this alone, it's fine if these ones make little comebacks. Okay, head this way. Siege down a castle, or see if I can make another clan, I will. If not, um, well, we'll just see. What's this? Owner of Legata. Okay, I already gave Legata to someone, though. Yes. Yes, you take it. Suspend 20 influence. Okay. That's not too bad. We'll just... We're knocking the walls down all the time now because... I think it's pretty easy for me to get back, get troops, but the less I have to do it, like if I can just keep taking prisoners and kind of milk that stack of cons guards for as long as I can, that, that's to my benefit. To not, not have to actually go back and make more troops or recruit more troops. Although, I guess I could have done that while I went to look for wanderers, which is really what I should have been doing, but sometimes I don't play optimally. I'll remember that next time. Just always, always multitask. You're moving around on the map. Although part of the reason I didn't do that was I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to commit to doing that. Because if you're not an Iron Man, you can just reload your game. So like if I go looking for those wanderers halfway across the map and they're not there, I can just say, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something different then. I know where all these castles are. They're not going anywhere. I can go siege them. I can make two more parties though for my clan and I should do that just just because I can so I will need to go bulk up on some troops pretty soon to do that they don't need to be cons guards or anything super great because at this point we're big and slow we're just kind of bulldozing in fact I could be cutting these free to get some more speed well, like when I'm doing um, like side work like trying to find the wanderers or get more troops but 
they they can get some into the your vassals armies and then you can't get them back without breaking the army up and it's which is i think is lame i think you should be able to say no for your own clan i just just kind of goes back to like, i don't feel like the simulation is strong enough to uh to excuse like taking options away from the player because i know that like what they'll say is like oh well it's just like the ai their ai gets some of their armies and they can't do anything about it you know but it's like okay but but that you know you did that too that's not my fault yeah <laughs> like i don't think the the simulation idea of like oh the ai it's all the same clans are all the, it's like that's not very strong it's like Like, first of all, the AI doesn't... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Every skill increase after 250 gives you plus one party size. So, and this works for all your parties. Since we can make, I believe, four additional parties, this immediately gives us a bunch of power if we use it, if we make all those parties and keep them at mass capacity, which I'm not. I'm, I've been pretty lazy about just taking their troops away to put in garrisons and stuff. But, um... I mean, I'm kind of, in a soft way... I'm just kind of like always thinking, well, what is saving me more campaign time? Like if I just keep scalping their stuff and stick it in garrisons, or if I go try to make extra each time, it's like that, that's kind of taking more campaign time. Like that's not really necessary, even though on paper it sounds good. Like, oh yeah, I have all your clans, all full, so you have max power. Yeah, at this point, I think our power, we're pretty, let's see, 25 K power, they're 2K, 4K, 5K, 6K. They're probably our biggest biggest enemy. Yeah, we're... Oh, let's see, these ones here are... These are just basically ruined. I mean, they've got a town. Tania keeps trying to siege something, but I think they keep getting fought off. So the Empire has something, they took a town, or something rebelled and joined them. That can happen too. They're on the way out. They're of course nice and strong. These two are mostly untouched. They're making a comeback though, the Sarai. They've taken several castles and they're, you can just see their powers coming back up. Let's see, did I make all the stuff? I made all the stuff, okay. Pull them all out, knock down the walls. That garrison should go away too while we're doing this. Maybe not all of it, but. At least a little bit of it. It'd be nice if the militia could then also go away, like once the garrison's completely gone. I mean, guess what this is saying is that the town does have some capacity to keep producing food. Okay. Which I guess that makes sense. So even... Let's see, there we go. How much or not, not much. We don't have much. So. What I could do is go. We finish this. And then go someplace else. Drop off my prisoners. To get right, get influence. If I get enough. I can just make another clan here. Or I can just let it go. Let someone else take it. And just focus on finishing the game. Maybe have at least another week. Before there's an update to the game. It may be longer. Who knows. They had their holiday last week, and they said not this week either, because I, I mean, who knows, but they, they know more or less, like, what, what, uh, how much time they're going to need. Maybe. Anyways, okay. Fire, and I've got two and five, okay, two and five, two, right there. This map is kind of weird and hard to look at as far as like where you should be putting this stuff. Okay, five. Five, you go right there. Everybody spread out. 
Okay, this is one of these ones where... No. Why are they going in there? Two. Come back here. That is bizarre. Like, they're running... That's the breach there. It goes in. There's, like, a pile of guys right in there in, like, a hallway. But, uh... We don't need to be doing that right now. We can shoot down all this stuff. I can go in there and take care of some of them, though. If, you know, if I, I could possibly try to bring a few of them in here to help me do this, but it might backfire horribly. Let me try though. Let me try two. Oh no, I don't want to do two. I want to do five because five is all ranged units. So we do five. Yeah, three, yeah, five. We'll put them in. We'll put them in four. I just want like, yeah, no more than that. And then four come right here. Hopefully they don't. They don't all well, insist on attacking this stuff. I want them to kind of just stand right where I am and just shoot them in the side. Oh, we'll see. This is, these are, I call these tactics experiments where you try to do fun stuff in the siege. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, he's just trying to reposition. Is they're taking a while to get over here, or they ignored my order and they're... Who knows? There should be some... Some kind of range units walking in the door at some point here, though. Okay, here comes one. No. Is that, are you part of four? No, you're not part of four. You're not even part of four. You're part of, what is that, part of one? One, one, go right there. Go right there. Get out of there. You don't, you're gonna fight all those guys like that. Okay, you got killed. Okay, do I still have, I have eight units that I put into group four. Group four. Come right here. Come right here where I am. We all just sit here and do this. I mean, this this is quite quite hilarious. Here we go. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Okay. Four. I take it back. Four. Or go like go back, go back out. We did a did a whoopsie there. Okay, someone got knocked out too. Okay, I said get out of there. Why are you still in there? Unless he's in a different or you in a different formation. They should all all be moved out now though. Listen, I might be pressing the wrong thing, because this is still my weird keyboard. Oh, he lasts a long time. The cons card is really good, even though Glaive is not the best thing for the situation. Four. Four, come here. Come here. Just come right over here. Just do exactly what I'm doing. You guys, okay, that makes them run out here. They don't care if it's just me, but they care if it's these guys. Okay, get out of my way. Okay, so they're we basically obliterated this side, just just effing around. Let's see. Got 73 in there. Okay, what side is this? Five? No. Two. Follow me. Come on. We're going through here. We don't want to do this. Or you follow me too. Come on. We're doing this the tactic style. We don't want to one you you go ahead to you clear the way now i told them to charge are they going to come this way or are they going to turn right around and go do something else let's see do i want to go up here no we want to go in the back here we want a place where we can shoot everybody that we encounter easily 
This is such a weird map, though. I'm afraid, like, if I charge them, are they gonna just turn around and go right back out to the front and go in the front door? Okay, we'll do this. Two. Here. Yeah, there's stuff they can shoot. Oh, there. Yeah, there's stuff running away. They're not, not being super enthusiastic about it, though. And my poor two infantry units going over there. Come on, you guys, if you would hurry a little bit, this would be fine, because you can shoot all these guys while they're moving like that. Okay. Two, are you not facing enemy? Okay, they're not facing enemy for some reason. I don't know why. Don't know how I did that, but... It's always nice when you see them just kind of sitting their ass out in the middle of a siege. Why is that guy doing that? Why are you doing that? Who are you? Okay, he's in one. No, one, come back. Come back here. You little you clown. That's a Lancer, I think. Lancer... Let's see. Okay, there's not that many. Everyone, charge. Just just get in there, finish them off. This is still better to have some coming from the back, though, I think. I could pop up overhead and see like what's going on in front. So I'm just I'm curious to know what that. Oh, I think okay. I think they come in through this side. I think they come in through the little hole down. Oh yeah, it looks like they're starting to get through. Okay. Two, cut them off. Don't let them. Don't let them get away. Good. There we go. No keep battle for you. Oh, maybe they got they got a few left. Okay, got a knockout. I don't think any anybody died though. Oh, send some troops. I don't think that affects my, my how much influence I get, whether I send him or not. It's 41. Not that much. Let's see. Take you wonderful units. And that's it. Yeah. The legit. Uh, that gives me some influence, too, I think. I just forget about that. Um, Let me see. Go to my garrison. Take out anything excellent they put in there. Yeah, guys, too good to be in the garrison. Um, need you for killing armies. These. You can have those. You can have those. I mean, those, those are still useful too, of course, but. I mean, really, once you have all these, these basically can double as your infantry if you need to make a shield wall. Not that you need to. It's not. I feel like it's still not like effect, effect a like like the difference between just putting less valuable troops in front of your valuable ones to soak up damage, and having like an actual shield wall with good infantry. It's it's not that much. It's not that much of a difference. See, dungeon. I don't want. They, like they'll put a bunch of stuff in there and then I, I would like it to be empty so that I can donate prisoners to it and get influence when I need to which I need to soon but not just yet okay we'll go manage our castle what we can do is turn this off and that's not important right now got how much loyalty they have 50 loyalty or they can probably build one of these we'll go ahead and do that give them some money get them started we can probably finish that in time. Or they might they might know how to turn it off if they if it isn't. So 
Oh, let's see. Will get me a little more influence. Produce another clan. Oh, look at look at them go. They're just we're going crazy now. Okay, back to Lagada. You gonna come try to siege this while it's low? They might. They might do it. Let's see. I don't care about that. Owner of is that what I just took? Yes. Okay. Let me get to Lagada. Let me get my influence. Keep dungeon, donate prisoners. Oh, good. It actually let me do it. So, you know, see which ones do we want to give them? One, an idea like when you do this, I mean, it's all mixed up now. It's hard to tell who's even who. The ones that, like, you don't have that many of them captured. I'm just going to do this all over, but. But if I had. If I was inclined to try to kind of min-max which ones I'm donating. So I, I don't have that many of the Vlandians prisoners. So if I donated mostly those ones. It's not going to affect me that much. Because they probably already have their max parties out still. Whereas if it's a faction where I've like taken almost all of their lords. Then that's you know kind of limiting how many, how many they can... Uh, they can make it once. Okay, that's going to put me at 500 influence. Another thing is just to keep everyone prisoner and stop trying to trying to put out clans constantly. This might not even work because I did wait a little longer than I usually do, but let's see who the you, because I didn't put armor on you yet. We'll use you first. It doesn't matter who gets a castle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I clicked the wrong thing. I have to go all the way back. Arboros the fish. Just to reward you, yes. And you get this castle, yes. Yes. For Rabos's fish, this says. There we go. And now I think because I did that, this one will become invalid. I'm going to save though, just so I can, if I want to mess around with it. In case it doesn't work like that, because it's my prediction that giving that thief to someone else after this has popped up makes this one, okay, this one isn't relevant, and then a new one will pop up and they'll vote. And typically, since that guy doesn't have a thief, they will go ahead and vote for him to have it. And then... Maybe he'll get this one too. That's okay with me. As long as they're nice and close together. As long as any it goes to the owner of like any of this stuff, that's close enough. Problem is once they have like two or three, they they get more influence and they have more power, you know, because they have more garrisons. And then the game will keep trying to give them more and more until they have like five or six things. Which is kind of annoying because really one thief for one clan is the best. And the more each one has, the more, you know, they just don't make use of the money and stuff as much. They don't, it's just not as good. But we're kind of past that point now. We've got, we probably have 50 clans by now. Well, later, later on, we'll count up. Let's see, how many clans did I make? Now we're getting into Batanian lands here. Let's see, did they take Imprela or did they did they change their mind? Let's see. Why am I not seeing it? Okay, yeah, they did not take Imprela. Let's see. That's okay. We'll just head this way, I think. 
All right, here's our new election. Let's see, Let's see how we do. I can get too mad if it. Okay, yeah, goes to the fish. That's very good. Looks like they're gonna they're gonna take that. Oh, here comes an necessary army. We gotta take care of them, but first. Let's see. I got plenty of uh, plenty of renown and not renown morale. Take those and let's see. I can bump some people up too. Get rid of some over junk. I wish there was a an automatic like just donate until you're at the max capacity for XP. Now, also, if you could do this from the same screen, too, just, you know. Okay. Looks like we're just leveling up guys that are already strong enough, though. So, I should bump this up, too, while I'm thinking of it. It's a lot of, a lot of menu lord action. Let's see. Get all these parties our faction has. So many of our clans pick the same emblem. I think they, I think they changed how many, like, what emblems they can choose from, so it's not as big of a pool as it was in an earlier version, because I feel like in a previous game where I made a bunch of clans, there weren't so many taking the same ones. But I think maybe they they reduced it. It seems like a whole lot taking the same ones. Uh, um, I know you're, you're making your big comeback, Sarah. I'm doing really well. But I can't let you... I see you wanting to go after after my new castle there, and I just can't let you do it. Yeah. You're in big trouble, Buster. Big trouble. Oh, okay. Let's see where's a good place for our giant crossbowmen. There. Spread out. This enemy. One. I think I will put you guys like over here this time. I don't have so many infantry because I keep giving them away. Three, you can go back there. And it's just the idea is like if they get their cavalry over here, we'll kind of slow them down a little bit. And the rest can go with me. Four spread out. Two spread out. I forgot to set my. Okay, so we start right in firing range. Just unload on them. That's, what is this distance? Yeah, it's... It's probably around 170. It's hard to tell exactly, but... So actually, four. Four, go over here. And five? I have pulled your fire till they get a little closer. I don't want them wasting all their ammunition when they're not in optimal range. See, so are they going to try to hold or are they going to come? They're trying to reposition on me. Okay. They're force archer. Okay. Or let's position them here. It's, it's it's like a nice idea that the AI will try to move like this, but it ends up just being annoying because it's like I don't know. Mounted archers! I guess just because of how it's kind of cumbersome to use this arrow to keep keep moving this stuff around, like how many you know. Like, you don't just have, like, a mini-map in Warband. Maybe I'll play some Warband after I finish this game. Just so that I kind of want to just record and show off, like, how you use the mini-map. Because I feel like a lot of people just, they didn't even know you could. But it's, it's really good for stuff like this. For, like, you know, you just have a general idea where you need these troops to go. You quickly open it up. You click it. They go there. Um... 
It's better than this where it's like from your point of view trying to guess where you're putting drips. Let's see, and then we gotta see like how far away are they at 150? Okay, this is this should be okay. Just shoot at them. What we don't want is their their archers to like start a firing line on us. We would rather deal with them when our infantry and cavalry can distract them. But we basically have to do this until their formation charges. And if we can get rid of their cavalry first, this is good too. Let's see. Okay, I think that it's really hard to tell now if, if they're moving on my troops or if they're still trying to... Okay. Follow me. Follow me. We'll see. Are you guys coming? Or are you going? Uh, I don't want to just try to move all my archers all the way across the map here. Okay. They're in a position there. We can just drop, drop our stuff right here. Even though they're uphill, they're going to get hit really hard. Those archers are trying to reposition again, so they're going to get shot up before they can do that. And you watch them and see as soon as they stop and start to fire, now we can pull back. And that's, that will usually be about the point where they will start charging. Come on. You guys, you can do better than that. It might be a little far away, too, because they have... They've changed cons guards a little bit, like as far as they gave them a bow, it's a little less accuracy, but we have good perks too. Although I didn't double check which captains I have set, so um, like if it unset my captain because we did a siege, then um, then they don't have the perks anymore. Come on guys, you can shoot at that right there. I see it, you see it. Keep shooting. We'll move up just slightly. Okay, two. Go up there. Just a little. Just a little. Get up there. Okay, now they're running. Okay, four. What What are you doing? Go back there. Two, go back there. They have cavalry. They don't have that much cavalry, though. I'd rather take them on with formation four, not two. But oh well. Why? Oh, there. Somebody had to stop and fight. You guys, shoot them. Two. Look over there. Shoot, shoot that. Shoot that right now. Okay, they wasted all their ammo already. Okay. Two. Enemy to everybody, come here. It might have been better just to move them and try to come on, follow me, just because they do that. They go in front of you and slow you down. Okay. Four. See, this is this is really lame. It's just really hard to to put them where you want them. Okay, two. Go like right. Go up there. That's fine. Three. Help, help us interfere here. Okay. Five. Open fire. Now they're close enough. Now the cavalry is getting in the way. Oh well. Look at that. Look at that. Their range units just getting obliterated by the crossbowmen. Okay, cavalry, that's nice. Now go go back over there. Go over there. I don't want you hitting the infantry. Chasing the cavalry around was nice though. No. Do not interrupt my, my crossbow man. They're doing their work. They have a job to do. 
what is who is back there? We still have some cavalry back. Okay, they went way too far away. Go, go like right there, cavalry. Go right there. Okay, one. Advance. Just get. Let's see. No. See, I put them on advance. And people keep lying to me and telling me, like, oh, if you put them on advance, they won't chase the cavalry around. They do. They just did it. They turned around and tried to go after the cavalry. One, spread out. You have to put them on loose to get them to move fast. Go this way. One, get in the scheme. One, get in the shield wall. You have to do it, like, right at the right time to actually get use out of this. Five. Yeah, no, 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 no retreating. We can do a battle here. Okay. Just get them. They're as tough as those infantry. Our own infantry, like, it's just, they just kind of ignored them and won't fly them. But, okay. This is fine. They still have archers over there, though. Three, follow me. One. Go over there. Go, get, go near the archers, please. Go, go right there. Three. Go near the infantry, or near the archers. Go near there, and then advance. And you better go hit those archers. I'm gonna be so mad if I see you. Oh, oh. Just get rid of them. I know it's not fair. I had it my way, you would get extra protection from arrows and your job would be to kill those archers, but the world just doesn't understand. You don't get it. You don't kill anyone important? No. Good. Yep, everybody's going to jail again. Influence for me. Don't care about your dumb prisoners. Well, let me see. Ah, I'll take these guys are fun. I'll take I take jowls. I should make a mod where I just do jowl only. I mean it would be hard because they don't have ranged units, but it'd be fun. It'd be a fun idea. I mean we could just I mean we could recruit some other we could do just jowl troops, but then we can take stuff from prisoners or something. So we could build up other stuff that we need, but still have the, like the fun of like, oh, it's you're using a minor clan. And they're... Okay. Yeah, let's knock out these castles. What's this? Cattle, okay, I don't care, buddy. Declaring war on me. Should we, we could make peace for them? No, it's not worth spending 50 influence to do that. You got like two parties. I mean, that's, I, I mean, really, I guess that's probably about four parties worth of power, but yeah, it's just Kim and one other clan. Let's see. I need to be offensive versus you. We can be balanced. Balance. Balance. Yeah, we don't want to bother them. Offensive. We can be... Yeah, we can be balanced versus Lydia. I don't know that it makes a big difference, but... If they want to clear out these western stuff first, that's good. It might have a small effect on their decision to do that. It's hard to know since, I mean, my decision is also based on proximity that you know we want to take stuff as close as to our other thieves first just kind of go out like that okay i gotta get rid of all these we've got so many so much stuff happening yeah of course you declared war on me i'm the big bad guy now declaring war on the crusades <laughs> i mean i'm gonna have to vote yes because it's just not worth my influence to, to block it but it is kind of worth paying them a little bit of tribute, especially because, like, our, our faction's really rich. It's really rich. Now let's just take a look.
Okay, well, I guess I have to do this first. Okay. If I wanted to do no, that's... <laughs> 1,855 influence. Yeah, I don't have that. So we're do yes. But the thing is, is, if we are paying them like a small amount of tribute, it just makes them bother the other factions and not us. So it's actually kind of good. It's actually cheaper and more effective than hiring mercenaries. Because like you hire a mercenary, you're paying them more than that a day, more than you're typically. These guys usually want like less than 1K a day. Like we'll look. We'll look um, after we do this and we'll see. Let me see what it says. Do that. Okay. So, okay. Well, well, maybe not. Okay. So this is a little more expensive. This would be paying them two and a half K a day. That, that's not so good. But let's look at what we're getting. If we do that, we're paying four different clans to, instead of bothering us, only bother other factions that they're at war with. Which right now it's only the Southern Empire. But still, that's kind of a good deal because you're getting four clans worth of parties. Whereas if you hire a mercenary, which, you know, usually it's not quite that much. It might be like half that much to hire a mercenary. You're, you're only getting one clan's worth of guys. So, you know, but let me see. Look at my clans here. It, unfortunately, I can't, I can't look at it um, directly from this. But most of them are average or rich. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that right now. It takes too long since this, this menu here. You know, I have to do this to look. Okay, they're going to be average. Okay, go away. Average, you know, they're not war. We could afford to pay for, for uh, the Crusades to basically be like guerrilla warfare for us let's see pop up oh there's a western army wonder where they're going where are you going? You're gonna go. Oh well, doesn't look like he's going over here. Why can't I see my thing? Okay, there we go. Get these queued up too. That just gives our our guide some experience. I should look though. Has he gotten anything? Yeah, he's he's slowly getting there. He's slowly getting a little something. Yeah, get that one. Barunk. Getting this one. I'm gonna make you a party leader soon. I think... So this one's really good for me when I'm party leader, but I'm not gonna do anything for her. She's just my medic, so we'll do this one. That one's okay, too. Okay, we've got a new perk here. She's not going to be my governor because she's my surgeon. This just can't happen in the game right now. So. Covering. The, okay, yeah, she's not going to be. So this one, we'll take this one. But it really annoys me that the perk is for tier 1 and tier 2 troops. And not the higher tier ones. Because it's like, we don't care if we lose our tier 1 and tier 2 troops. But in fact, I, don't pro I hardly have, will be using any. Because I can easily just make them tier 4, 5, 6. So. Oh, wow. Let's see. Infantry troops. See, like, I would like this one to get the 30 skill, but the thing is, is I don't think, like, stuff like Khan's Guards, when it's in a siege and it's dismounted, I think it counts them typically as, as archers and not infantry. So I don't think they'll get it. So for her personally having the swing is is better because it's a glaive so we'll do that because yeah i don't think that's going to work out for using cons guards dismounted and sieges each combat movement performed two movement speed okay hard knock we'll do this see yeah i think that's pretty good 
Although, the thing is, is a lot of times, like, cavalry units, if you knock them off the horse, they're much better at fighting on foot. So, I don't know. We'll do that one anyway, so it's fun. It's fun to knock them off the horse, but they, they know how to actually hit you when they're on foot. We have so much unspent stuff just because... Because I made her my medic, she's basically stuck as my medic, which means um, she can't get scouting, can't get steward. You know, she has to lead a party to really get most of this stuff. So this is this is the kind of stuff she can do. Her weapons and medicine. That's too bad. I wish they would let you set multiple roles for a person because then that just you know it would just you'd be able to use her for all this stuff and that'd be good. Or you're, you know, I guess you, the player can do it, but it'd be better if the siblings and, you know, it'd be better if you could do it. Let's see. I don't see anything weird going on. Okay. Oh, there's a big old little army. Are you are you here to have some words with me? Hmm. We'll recruit you. I don't know why you're in my party. I'll go ahead and recruit you though. You guys will save for later because you might just get killed in the battle, and you're like my fun troops that I would rather I would rather not get killed in like a some battle. Okay. Oh, look at that. See, the Kuzates can somehow still afford mercenaries. Okay, pause. Not see. Okay, it's not. Hasn't finished it. Okay. Another thing I say every pretty much every day, like if you could just set these to go into reserve, you didn't have to do this, you didn't have to like pause them and do it, it would make this whole thing so much, so much more enjoyable to just set it up. And then you could, because like, so what I want to do is I'm looking around, at, you know, I want to see like what's going on around me while I'm here. It's hard to do that and also watch the meter build up. And also, like if these guys attack me right when it's about to pop up. Or right as it pops up, then when I exit the battle and I go back, sometimes it, it's it's like I won't notice it right away, and it'll get shot up by that stuff. And you know, it's just lame. And also for the AI, the AI could do it too. They could put their stuff in reserve automatically, and that would make them much better at sieging because that's one of their problems. Is they build one and it gets blown up, another one they gets blown up, and you know, it just they get stuck in a loop where they're never they never have the gear that they calculated they wanted. Okay. Enough about that. Come on, guys. Attack me. Oops, oops, oops. I did a blunder there. I should be bombarding them with this. It's okay, I mean... We can make a lot of blunders now. Are you thinking, Durthurt, that after this siege I'm going to be really weak and there's no way I'll be able to fight you then? What is this? Ooh, I got a... Got another trait. I guess this is just because I keep giving food to them, I think. I think you're getting credit towards this every time you share food with starving starving uh, troops in your army. And since that happens constantly, because the AI party leaders seem to basically never buy food like when they're with you. I mean, I guess I don't go to a town that often, but I don't know. Anyways, it's pretty much constant, so eventually you get that. So I got generous, daring... Calculating, I think we get that from character creation, and then I don't know if um, I think the means that you get and lose this 
are either just it's either something very rare that i don't do or it's just not properly implemented because i start the game with this and then it never goes away meaning i'm not really doing the thing that would counter it because usually like the traits that you start with if you do like even one thing that goes against it you lose it right away which is really annoying uh at least to people who you know they're like oh i want to start with that trait i'm that kind of and then it goes away and they're like hey I was role playing and now I'm not. Let's see, we blow up their walls already. Why can't I see their their walls? I'm a little okay. It looks like we took their walls. I don't know why it's not showing me the emblem for their walls. Unless maybe their walls were already blown up. We'll see. We'll save our game. We're going. We'll see how it goes. Somebody somebody got smart, though. Somebody got bigger. Raisin, you encourage Raisin to... I keep doing this for, like everyone. No. Thirst for knowledge. Stewart. And then, is it medicine? Okay. For some of them, it's consistent with which bonus it gives them when I choose that. Some of them, it does something else. So I wonder if it's this maybe is one of my Batanian kids and the other ones are Imperial. And maybe that changes it. Because some of them, I think it was giving them a charm instead of a medicine or something. So there, there's something to it. Something to it. But still, I would rather just pick this like a spreadsheet. Just like what I want to give them. Build a bear them exactly how I want them instead of picking from stuff like that. Okay. Let's lead an assault. Drink some coffee. Can use the ram. I forgot to look at how many people are actually in here. We can look as soon as we start, though, but that makes a difference in whether we're going to do this um, in one shot or in two shots. So everybody, fire it well, please. Ooh, someone got me already. Okay. Everybody right here. Everybody spread out. And then we'll look at what actual groups we have. We have... We have two and five as usual, okay. Five, five, you can go like over here. Two, you stay where you are, that's fine. I'm not super happy about how clumped together five is, but let's see, we'll try it. We'll try and do it one time. Put them all out like... No, it didn't do it. Okay. There. Like that. But then spread out and face enemy. Now once they settle down, that should be a good good spread of fire. Except they didn't really do what I said. They, they're still clumped together. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna keep messing with it as long as most of them are shooting. See, it's just bad because like wherever that guy shoots his arrow, it's going to hit one of them. Okay, let me try again. Go really far apart. And then... Yeah, okay. There we go. All these. I want to shoot you in the feet. Come here. Standing out in front like that. It does seem like my troops are underperforming, though. Like, it seems like they should have a clear shot at a whole lot of stuff right here. They have shields, but, you know, their shields don't protect them perfectly. 
No, oh, maybe they do. Let's see, I'm not hitting that guy. I'm not shooting at him. Oh, okay, they're... You knock me out, and they're all just gonna charge in there. I wish I could just keep this whole setup here and just move them up slightly. That would be so much better. Let's see how many are in there. Oh, never mind. Just get in there, guys. Get in there. There's hardly anyone in there. No, these guys are still shooting as they advance, so that's good. Probably they're bunched up on the other side of that door there because of knocking down the door with the ram, even though we didn't break the second door. Ah, oh, I almost got knocked out though. Anyway, I should look at my horse. It's not a wounded clam machine, is it? No, it's just a clam machine. Alright, yay, we did it. Not that much influence, but okay. Yep, we'll take all the troops. Take that. Take that, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Let's see how much influence does it give me. I devastate. It costs me to influence. Oh, because I have a merciful person in this one here. I guess that I can do that one, but I can just do this one too. That's fine. And I'm watching this because sometimes my influence seems like it gets bumped up really big right after that. Let's see. My energy garrison. Oh, look at that. They already have a bunch of junk in their garrison. That's good. Give them a little more or not. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we don't need these. I don't even... I guess I missed out on how we even got that stuff. Okay. Give you this weird stuff and then take take some of the slightly good stuff back. That is kind of a big garrison for you. You can take these. Oh, I'll take that. Eh, that's a big garrison, but you can have it. Although, I don't know. Maybe I should use these. They are just, you know, they're ranged units anyways. Yeah, we don't want to give them a huge, huge garrison. We can just put that in the next one. Mm. Oh, did they take my castle? Did they go take this? Who's sieging it? Oh, let's see. Okay, so they... I'm confused. I don't remember if that was one of the ones we just took or not. It must have been. Okay, let's... Let's walk out here and beat these guys up. Oh, oh no, what was that? Oh no, my game crashed. Yes, I would like, I would like to, um, I would like to report that crash. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break here because we've got a crash. And I might come back on soon. Um, definitely later tonight at some point, but I will go ahead and take a break now since I got, I got my game crashed.